Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nano Kami the Two Princes Knights of Kyoto Part 2. It was worth going all out to the point where I started hacking up blood then. <laughs> oh. He's collapsed in the middle of the yard. Uh oh. She's she's still alive. The trap. Something feels off though. Kumi san is collapsed not far from here, but that's not the strangest thing. It took so long that I had no option but to steer her power then. I had to do it somewhat forcibly due to her resisting though. I saw the power she was born with. Don't worry, she should be able to talk again soon. Zume shakes her head desperately trying to tell me something. I hug her tight and scrape some stones away before resting her head on the ground. Sorry for hugging you so tight when I'm soaked. I'm sorry Mitsurugi-san's the one in front of me right now, but something about her feels different. Different enough that I subconsciously get between her and Uzume, almost like there's a need to protect her. Things don't add up, she was definitely still fighting alongside the others when Shino and I took out that fox and got off the mountain. How did she manage to come all the way here without a car then? I've got an awful feeling about this, if my suspicions are right then... I settled things up there, here's a memento for you. Oh no, is it a head? Settle things. Oh, I thought that she was, you know, more gruesome than that. But all right, that's that's good. That's good. Lady Anari turns to the afterward briefly. Something apparently needed to be reported. Lady Anari. That means I was right then. I'm surprised you haven't caught on yet. I'm the one who killed both Yoshi Mira-san and Morita-san. Crap, I'm shaking all over. Not because I'm chilly. I can barely move as it is, especially with my leg this busted up. Can I even protect Uzume in this condition and make it through alive? All signs point to no. Indeed, Yoshimira-san died after getting stabbed in the back, and I made sure to decapitate Morita-san with this very blade. あたしたちが霧に包まれている時、あんたいなかったし、その間に封印が破かれた。うん。もっと前からだ。今思えば、御所でもそう。あんた、おじいちゃんたちと北から突入したはずなのに、一人で、あやかしが集まっていたはずの
Don't you find it odd how things not being things of how beings not of this planet were allowed to change it as they saw fit? Not only that, but how everything afterward has been influenced by their warped perspective of history. Our viewpoint feels all too similar to what the Ayakashi were saying. I have both human and Ayakashi blood flowing through me. My existence is a byproduct of that warped reality. I'm human, but not entirely. I'm what you people would refer to as a Tsuchigumo. There is no single Tsuchigumo. The term exists as a label for those who oppose the Imperial Court. No such code ever existed. I can barely process all the info she's pelting me with right now. True, some people felt inclined to consider themselves part of a cult, but rest assured that it never did exist. Indeed. My people weren't simply persecuted, they were slaughtered, and by none other than Tsuchi Mikado and the Kunai organization. <laughs> now I serve as one of Tsuchi Mikado's many tools. Well, he's dead. One of his tools, that must mean. I know what you're thinking, you're correct. This entire war was orchestrated by both him and the Ayakashi. Indeed, you being brought into the capital branch and being allowed to meet the Ayakashi was no coincidence. I was told that you had potential, but Tsuchi Mikado likely knew your role. I was never told. All I know is what's in store for this world next, as well as Uzume-chan, Lan-chan. It's Arugi's son too. What's going on here? Tch. Listen to me, Len. If you wish to know the truth behind this world, then come to the Imperial Palace one week from now. Bring Shinonomi with you too. We'll have a one-on-one -on -one duel there, which can, which she can oversee. Akashi's master won't return through the mere destruction of the seal stones. It's up to me to act as a vessel and guide it back. If you wish to stop me, I advise that you come at me with all you have. She makes her way to the entrance after saying her piece. Wait, that's not good. There are people behind there. A call falls on deaf ears as she continues on her way. I don't have the strength enough to stop her. But then... How did things go, Lunch? Oh, phew, looks like you made it in time after all. Wait a minute, why are you bleeding, Toko Tokumi-san? Why are you here, Amatsu Akamatsu-san? Ouch. Tokumi-san rubs the back of her head and winces. Well, Lenjong came back to the village all beaten up and in tears, asking me to bring her here ASAP. More importantly, how's your leg, Lanchan? We can't even take you to a hospital. Hmm, if we can get to Shiga somehow, then maybe... What do you mean? Didn't she go to Fushimi and Ari with you all? I've completely lost track of what to ask. Mitsurugi-san and other sanctuaries? Things have gotten rather complicated to say the least. We should get in contact with the others first. Sorry, but I need you to help me sort out what's happened here. Let's start with you, Uzume-chan. Uzume-chan 
何か雰囲気がおかしかったので逃げようとしたら押し倒されて何か薬のようなものを無理やり飲まされてそして手に持った黒い石を私のお腹に押し当てて何か呪文のようなものを唱えその黒い石は消えて同時にお腹の中に痛みを感じてあのクソ野郎そこからしびれて動けなくなって声も出せなくてこの場所に運ばれてきましたレンちゃんが来る前ミツルギさんはこう言っていましたあー We will find out in the next episode of n a n o k a m i This Princess Knights of Kyoto Part 2 what that is. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Bye bye!